ball run video, I'm going to show you how to make a ball dispenser. This is the beginning part of your ball run where you can drop your ball from any distance down a shaft and I'm going to show you how to build that and attach it to your ball run to make something look exciting and dynamic. All you'll need is your keeper ball or a marble or a ping pong ball, your keeper planks and an open space. So go ahead and grab those and let's get started. All right, to start off with your ball dispenser, we're going to create the base with the chute. So this is where the ball is going to drop down and start onto either the track or the chute or whatever element you've added onto it. So what we're gonna do is start with three planks, start here, two planks here, and one plank right around here. And we're going to begin with, let's do a chute. So I'm gonna take three planks and lay those right here. And you wanna make sure you have some overlap here so you can add your second part of the chute there. And I'm going to move this plank out so it um, adds a little bit of lip here. So if I'm adding it on to the chute, for example, let's move these this way. I can put those here like that. Now we're gonna add some sides to it because you'll see that I'm gonna stack it right on top of the flat plank that I've laid there. And let's add two. The reason why I'm adding two planks is if I was dropping the ball in, I'd have to make sure it won't hit the other planks that I'm laying right here. Let's add some sides to these so the ball doesn't run off the edge. All right, now we're gonna start creating our dispenser. To do that, we're going to add one plank here, and then I'm gonna stack two, and place them right about here. You wanna make sure you have enough space to drop your ball, but um, so you can make it a little further out if you want. I found that if you make it smaller, it almost makes a funnel-like um, effect for the ball dispenser, so I'm gonna keep them a little bit closer together. And now you can start making just a simple tower on top of those. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, if you wanted it to look a little bit like a rickety shaft, you can make your, your planks go in different directions. I'm gonna make it look like a rickety shaft first. And let's go ahead and test that out, make sure it works. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it, and it does. So um, the thing with ball dispensers are all of them are going to start the same way. They're going to start with maybe a chute and then one plank and two planks here. And the reason why we do that is if I only had one plank here and one plank here, if it's on a slant, the tower is going to be leaning. So we want to create almost a straight up and down um, structure that way. So now we can start playing around with different ways you can dispense the ball. Um, let me go ahead and show you how to make a zigzag. So we're gonna use flat planks this time. And as I'm building, I'm going to start bringing this block out and this block over a little bit. So I'm starting to make, and I'm going to keep stacking these planks right on top of each other like that. And then I'm gonna start moving this one over. So you can see my tower starting to go out a little bit more this way. And just like any um, element that we're creating with ball runs, we wanna test it out as we're going along. Because if I go too far along and something doesn't work, then I've created a lot of time making something that doesn't work. So let's try it right now. So the ball does go through, so let's just keep going. Just a little bit at a time as we go. Now the center of gravity is starting to shift. So once I go out, let's just go a little bit further this way. I'm going to start bringing a zigzag back. So to do that, I'm gonna start moving the planks going this way. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Ta-da! 
All right, so I've just built a basic ball dispenser here. Something that you can do to add some different sounds to your ball dispenser is adding a flat plank in your ball dispenser. So to do that, we're gonna take one plank and we're gonna lay it just on top of one side here. And then we're gonna alternate on the second layer and put one across this way. And so on and so forth. Let's try one here. Let's go ahead and test that out. So we're gonna drop it. That's okay if that one falls. And did you see it, it hit each plank as it was going down? So to make this plank not fall off again, what I'm going to do is add a funnel to the top. And you can do this to any of your dispensers to add another different element to it and add some excitement. Let's go ahead and lay two flat planks here. And let's do it again. And then from here, I'm going to balance almost two planks on each side and then two planks here to create to create a square up at the top and from here we're going to create kind of like a globe if you've seen my tutorials on doing that in the building basics now we're going to balance by putting two here and two planks here again it doesn't have to be perfect but now we're just going to start building out as we go, creating almost a funnel. Actually, it is a funnel. And we can go a little bit further just to show you, give you an idea. So now you can drop your ball a little bit further, a little bit off and it can bounce, but it essentially will go right down. So let's go ahead and try it. And that's what you can do with that. Well, that's all you need to know for making your ball dispenser. The things to remember are make sure that you're building your dispenser straight up. To do that, you're gonna add one plank here and two planks here on your chute. The other thing to remember is make sure that your entrance is tall enough for the ball to get through. To do that, all you need to remember is two planks is gonna give you enough distance to let your ball pass through. Um, we'd love to see what you create, whether it's a zigzag or it has bounce plates in it to add some sound to it. You can use the hashtag Keeble Planks and share it with us on our social media. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this on how to make your ball runs fun and exciting. Thanks for joining me. We can't wait to see what you create.